Hi, it's Pin here. Um, what I'm trying to do is make a short video to share some more details about my new collage fragmentation and uh, give you some basic idea how it looks like in your life. But it's all because of my friends, of course, who told me that watching the uh, collage in real life and watching the photos, uh, it's simply not the same. So, uh, here I am, um, and I hope you will enjoy the short trip. We will start in the left up corner. So here we are. You can see that uh, there is a lot of dimension here. Uh, this corner is dark, of course, and uh, it's the palace of the other for the other side of the collage. And uh, what we have here are prima flowers, some wines. Oh, here's the, the piece of wine and some more flowers and of course some leaves beautiful selection just a hidden light bulb and here's a watch <laughs> part of the watch I have no idea what that is but it's very very nice and pretty some metal part and if you will try to look from a different angle you will see that it's really uh, three dimensional and it took a lot of time to set it, set it up all together a little bit down. Here we've got um, some more fun things. Uh, flower, crochet flower, trinkets, some more uh, square trinkets. I'm collector of the trinkets, you know, it's very useful. Uh, um, here this is the computer part, maybe. Like, oh, that's better. Probably maybe some kind that uh, you'll find in the usual PC, nothing that's sophisticated. And some more details, the flowers, and the doll called probably the Frozen Charlotte, I'm not sure that, but that's what I recognize as one of them. Here's some more dimension. Uh, Charlotte is uh, from Tim Holtz collection, but I know there are many other so, uh, sources for this kind of uh, embellishment and uh, if you look a little bit down you'll see an old floppy disk. The whole idea was to uh, use of course again something that is in every uh, every usual household in every place that's how I usually create and you can see the floppy disks they really uh, do beautiful dimension it was all painted and again we go on the other side a domino piece, uh, some metal hardware, some acrylic squares, some metal squares, prima flowers, some clock parts and here some more computer parts, more prima, beautiful wine. Here's I'm not sure, it's not a light bulb up. Uh, oh, maybe here it's more visible. It's not a light bulb here. It's um, probably something you can find in the inside of an old TV or something similar. Some more flowers. Old computer parts again. Motherboards. Uh, <laughs> um, memory cards. Some pieces of the old uh, beer cans or coca-cola cans uh, bottle cup I have no idea where th was that taken from probably <laughs> old watch electronic one ah this is my favorite part old radiator and you can see it's very dimensional very dimensional all the things here were glued on the collage with very heavy duty medium and I can tell you that it really takes time to have it dry and you have to be really patient when you do this kind of creation uh, because you can imagine what will happen if you lift it too early everything will fall, it's about 6 kilos heavy so it really takes time to dry it uh, of course the drying time depends on uh, the amount of the gel you are using and uh, of course also on the temperature, weather and everything, but uh, 
I try to leave this kind of creations for 12 to 24 hours to dry before I go to the next step. Some more <laughs> fun elements, of course, the zipper, more floppy disks, some tags, some gems, and uh, this is a very fun ceramic part uh, taken from one of the old Polish electric ovens. And some screws, some more memory cards. This is also very fun. Light bulbs. Uh, the light bulbs here. This is one from the Christmas tree and c combined with kind of uh, uh, thread, spool, spool thread left over or uh, kind of something empty inside. This is the part I took from my old shoes. It was a shoe decoration but I love the shape and again the light bulb. This one, this one is very dimensional. It was a challenge of this collage too. I will try to show it from other side. It's not easy. It's very big. And some more beautiful Prima flowers. Uh, this one is placed in a big bottle cup. Here you can see the bottle cup. This one is made of felt. Okay, this uh, some trinkets. This is a dragonfly trinket. And we go up. <laughs> uh, this is uh, another part taken from an old electronic device. It may be a DVD player, it may be it may be an old PC again. I have three or four old PCs in pieces on uh, in my stash thanks to my friends. Uh, some more Prima flowers, some hardware again and uh, beautiful beautiful um, metal element uh, probably found in the kitchen or in the garden. It's a <clears throat> top uh, knob or okay it's part of the top and if you have old wash basins or this metal kind of wash basins you may have uh, one of these two and we go a little bit up a uh, broken key and we'll go from the other side oh yes here it is the broken key and uh, domino piece and the beautiful trinket with heart with wings and I made a necklace for the uh, for the person on the collage. You can see this necklace is made from lace, trinkets, some gems, some acrylic drops, and uh, of course it's all painted. Here some more lace here and here. <laughs> it looks very very fun. And uh, now the head. Here we have the. Prima flowers and trinkets all together with some metal hardware, again some ceramic elements from old Polish electrical oven and little cute uh, cage. I will try to show you the dimension again. Hmm, you can see maybe. It's not easy. Okay. Uh-huh. On the top here some more electronical parts. I truly have no idea what some of the rubbish from my collection are. They are just nice elements I have and I really enjoy uh, using them. Uh, as I say during my, during my class, it doesn't matter what it is, as long as you can glue it and you like the shape and color, it will work. And in the background here, you can see the mesh tape and you can have a closer look on the background. I will try to show you. This background is made with gel medium and with stencil. It was squared stencil from Crafters Workshop and I made this uh, background by applying multi many times the same pattern and that was basically my idea to work on this collage to have this uh, effect of elements, fragments going from this side up and on the other side here, just like moving from here to here. 
and that's why there are so many uh, little squares in the background. Some of them are just acrylic squares, some of them are gel medium squares uh, made with the uh, stencil, and some of them are the floppy disks, and some of them are the metal elements. Um, let's have a closer look on the makeup now. Uh, the face was painted, of course. It's a photolab photo, and uh, I usually use real photolab photos. It's not printed at home. It's uh, it's done in the printing machine or in the photolab, and it's matte. That's why the paint stays better. And it's painted with gesso and a little bit of uh, distress stains and a little bit of distressing and the same colors I used in the background. It, usually I try to use the same colors uh, in the background and uh, on the dimensional stuff and on the face just to make sure everything is in the same color palette. Um, and take, talking a little bit more about the colors here, uh, the whole background and all the dimensional things you can see here they were painted with sprays of course mostly ranger uh, color washes and delusions I really love the intense color and uh, with addition of uh, luminarte pigments which are beautiful colors and I really love the color palette and they work beautifully and uh, especially here you can see I used Mm, mm, acrylics from Luminart called silks and they have beautiful metallic shades of different oh, all the colors you can imagine and I love how vibrant they are and uh, they work both on dark and uh, light background and uh, the colors are always vibrant so that's what I really love about, about this paint I'm truly addicted and the white is of course um, just so and the black is acrylic paint and uh, hmm. to be honest uh, this collage took me about 20 hours of work not including drying time and I think probably uh, it was about five or six days doing uh, every night a piece of the uh, a piece of the collage the final touches was two days I really enjoyed this process. So now you <laughs> have a closer peek, I hope, and you can see the dimension and you will see how really heavy and with the texture and everything this work is. Uh, try to think how much stuff do I have to have to uh, do this, this kind of collage. And really the fun is <laughs> try to describe, it's really hard to describe. Okay, so the last close look. Ah, the size, the size. Uh, the size is 50 to 70 centimeters. I'm not sure how much is that in inches, but really it's big. And uh, it's the fir fourth collage I did in this size, and I really enjoy it. I have two more canvases waiting. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the ride and uh, you uh, know uh, a little bit more about the collage now. And uh, I hope to see you soon. <laughs> Bye, thank you.